Our next AIPRM public prompt is the seven question marketing plan. Really excited to hear this one. Again, you put in the search of AIPRM seven question and Nicole's prompts will come up. This one's by AI Smart Marketing. It says, create a marketing plan for your business or for a campaign in just seven short questions. And we have invited Andrew White to join us. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks. All right. Hi, Andrew. And hey, Nicole. Have you um, have you been using ChatGPT? <clears throat> yeah, the ChatGPT and uh, Bard. Awesome. But not not GPT four yet. Okay. Well, welcome to GPT four. I just mm -hmm. made sure I switched it over, um, and we've got seven question marketing plan. Fingers crossed, quick, this one works. <laughs> quick, quick question, Nicole. So you've built these prompt scripts. Yes. When, you, when, if as a user goes in, I don't know if we have time for this, but is that something you do differently to be able to create it as a script that you can follow? Yes. Okay. There's, there's a way to make it work. It's different than the conversational prompts that you have with ChatGPT, mm -hmm. um, and it breaks and changes. So I have to check my prompts. I checked them all last night, and this is where right now i don't know if it's going to work it may it may not but <laughs> we'll try so i have to go in and change the prompts in the back end if i like because when they do updates to gpt sometimes things change or aiprm um mm -hmm. so it is different building these but we use them so often that it's worth it's worth going into and maintaining at least for now we have some mm -hmm. other plans with this for the future sure um, okay, what does your business do? We manufacture weather sensors that connect with industrial systems and controls to automate facility operations during weather events. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to copy this and put that in the first, the first questions, what are you great at doing or producing? Mm -hmm. So we'll just yep. use that same. Four is thinking. Give it a bunch to digest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the uh, having chat GPT hang like this is a normal thing. I would say this is still kind of a beta product where you run into issues. Oh, there we go. It had to think about it a bit more. What is the T thinking thought? Interesting. All right, who's your target audience? <laughs> facility managers. Uh, what kind of facilities? Weather facility? And they can be um, can, can be buildings, can be municipalities, can be controls, engineers. Uh, technical uh, uh, technicians. And installers. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> Perfect. Hey, three um, pain points. Uh, safety. Response time. Compliance. Okay. And what are the solutions that you provide for those pain points? Timely response to weather events. 
or just timely response. Um, automated control. Uh, uh, um, data, um, hold on. Auditable data. Ah, uh, okay. That's all right. Auditable data, okay. Yep. Oh, what marketing channels do you currently use? Um, building automation. So, I mean, well, help me understand the question. Does that marketing like, channels would be Facebook, Instagram, email, billboards? What channel? Um, here's a well, it's a challenge. We currently use distributors, so industry industry distributors, um, and uh, email. And, and what would trade like, shows. And what? Sorry. Trade trade shows. And what would you like to use? Uh, I, I think I want to emphasize email. I really want to. I mean, the social media. I don't. I we really don't see much activity through social media. <clears throat> so, okay, I'm just gonna put LinkedIn on there because yeah. I think that would be a Perfect. key one for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do you have copy that it can learn from? Hold on one moment. What's your website or would it be on your website or somewhere else? It's actually some text I've been working on. Okay. And this is the learning is really an important part on here. There's been some articles lately. I don't know if anybody's seen about how they say chat GPT has gotten more dumb because it's been learning off of the garbage of the outputs <laughs> and not having good inputs. So it's actually gotten worse since more people are using it. And I mean, it's debatable. You have to know how to use it, but if you're to get the information that you want and you have to know how to audit it to make sure that it's accurate. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to just drop this in the chat to you? Yeah. Maybe a little lengthy. Not at all. This is actually pretty short. I mean, realizing going through this and, and, you know, because it's asking questions that are asking me to really step back or asking all of us to step back and think through that question and what mm -hmm. is the ultimate answer to it. So it's, it's the process is refining my thinking about how I want to think about approaching the market. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's an educational function as well. Yeah. Uh, Comptus, C-O-M-P-T-U-S. Sales at Comptus.com. And www.comptus.com. It really is important. I mean, the, the quality of the script, right? Yeah, is, is it really is. Important. And that's where, like, we spend a lot of time on getting the right inputs to get the right outputs. This prompt, by the way, this prompt is probably, I don't even know, four pages long or so to get, you know, in the back end to get here. This is a long result too. So this result is going to be at least a couple of pages. So then you can take something like this and use mm -hmm. magic slides and if I don't know if you use Google or um, if you use Microsoft for your decks, um, but they all have AIs where you can dump it into the AI and then it puts it over the slides. And with Google, you can have it even match up images to the information on the slides. So then that you can turn this into a deck if you want to. Um, That's huge because yeah. <clears throat> I, I this is very wordy. And what's, what, what I find is if I can get someone to give me 10 minutes, I show them the PowerPoint 
and pictures. Pictures of our applications are what bring people over the edge. They say, ah, now I got it. So you're absolutely right. I could drop this into a deck. It'd be fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. And then and then refine it down to whether I want to do a direct pitch or something like that. I was busy. Yeah, yeah. This is great. We have a little yep. SWAT. Yep. So this is the most small, concise version of a marketing plan that we work with just for funsies. And mm -hmm. if you're doing campaigns, you could also look at this um, as a campaign plan, um, not just an overall plan or, you know, like with MJ, they work with a lot of different books and customer types. So you might do this focusing on one line of business. Mm -hmm. yep. um, <clears throat> yeah, or, one sector. Yep. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And it gives you a little you. implementation timeline on there. So I'm going to put this in the chat, a link mm -hmm. to the results of your prompt in the chat. You all listened really well, Dan, on, on the idea of showing us real, real activities. This is, this takes the first seven weeks and just actually makes it actionable. Thank you. It's great. Great You're stuff. welcome, Andrew, and thank you for volunteering. And yeah, that's the purpose of today, uh, because we just heard very consistently, like, how do we start? Where do we touch down? How do we get started? And actually, Huge. the next section that we're going to go over is actually going to go over each of the assignments and how we would, uh, Jeff, Nicole, and I uh, suggest doing those, uh, getting started with those. So thank you. Great. Thank you so much.